Hey guys, it's Callie. Welcome back to another video. So today and tomorrow I'm going to be studying for my first patho exam in nursing school. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit sick right now. Um, it's because I am. I've been like fighting a cold for the past like two or three days. But anyway, the exam is on Monday. Today is currently Saturday. So we are going to grind and i'm gonna take you guys along with me as i study and show you guys everything i'm doing to study and prepare for the exam i've already started a little bit um i had a review session with some of my nursing school friends a few days ago and we like went through the whole study guide our teacher gave us and like wrote out on a whiteboard like just all the information that the blueprint says is going to be covered on the test so that was really helpful but i learned best through active recall which is like flashcard method basically anyway so i wrote out a blueprint of everything i'm gonna do to study on my own this weekend um so i'm gonna show that to you guys so the test is gonna cover the first five chapters that we've covered in class which are cellular function immunity fluid electrolyte and acid base homeostasis endocrine function disorders and respiratory function and disorders um so i have a quizlet on every single one of these and each quizlet is about like 150 to 200 questions. Um, some are a little bit more, so they're really big quizlets. But they go through the entire PowerPoint and cover like everything I would need to know from each PowerPoint. So I listed out the quizlets here and I'm going to go through and do a check mark for each one once I master it. Like once I complete all the flashcards and I get them all right. Um, and then down here... I'm going to make Venn diagrams. I already started a couple of them, but I'm going to make Venn diagrams comparing all of these different conditions. These are all of the ones for fluid and electrolyte um, homeostasis, and then these are all of the ones for endocrine disorders, and then these are all of the ones for respiratory. And I might do a few more, but these are like the main ones I really need to make um, because it's basically comparing like all of the hypers to the hypos. So like hypernatremia is like when you have too much sodium in your like vessels and then hyponatremia is when you have deficient sodium in your vessels and basically like you're comparing like all of the manifestations and the causes so like what can cause hypernatremia versus hyponatremia if they have any causes that are the same like diuretic use can cause both of these um and then manifestations so what happens when you have the condition so what can manifest when you have hypernatremia and what can manifest when you have hyponatremia and then what manifestations are the same so you can see weakness and lethargy in both of them blood pressure changes seizures enema um coma headache so yeah basically i'm gonna go through and make these venn diagrams for all of those different conditions which is gonna take a while because these i was doing these last night and they each took me like about half an hour or so um, I was kind of tired, so maybe they'll go by faster today, but yeah, so we have a lot of work to do. But I wanted to make a video on this, like studying for this first exam, because I know that a lot of you guys who are subscribed to me are also nursing students um, or pre-nursing students, and a lot of you might find this beneficial. I don't know, but I thought that this could be helpful for some of you guys. So I'm going to take you guys along with me the next two days as I study everything. I am really nervous um, because patho is like the hardest class in level one. It's just a lot of information. So, but I got myself Duncan this morning as a little reward. I got coffee and then I got a donut. Um... They were like all out of the donuts when I went there, so I got this like chocolate one with like vanilla in the middle, and we'll see how it is, but it looks good. But yeah, so I figure I'm going to work on the Venn diagrams for a little bit um, and do a few more of them, and then I'm going to take a break for a little bit, and I'm going to study. I think I'm going to do like 30 minutes straight of just studying my Quizlet, and so yeah, and then I'll go back to Venn diagrams, and then maybe take a break and do 30 minutes on Quizlet again. Um, and then just back and forth and I'm gonna try to get a lot of work done I want to mostly like have everything memorized by the end of today so that tomorrow I feel a lot more confident and I'm basically just reviewing everything <laughs>
so I just finished my last Venn diagram for the fluid and electrolyte set. Um, so all of those are completed, and then these are the endocrine um, Venn diagrams I need to make, and then these are all of the respiratory ones. Um, so I got a good amount done, like I got all these done, which feels good, but like I still need to memorize all of this. Well, not really all of it, but like mainly the manifestations that each of the conditions share. Like for all of the hypers versus the hypos, like I need to really make sure that I know the manifestations that they have in common because I think that my teacher is going to make exam questions on that for sure. Um, and then I think I especially need to remember that phosphorus and calcium have an inverse relationship, meaning um, all of their manifestations are going to be opposite. So like for hypercalcemia, for hypercalcemia, all of the manifestations are going to be similar to hypophosphatemia because they have an inverse relationship. Um, and then the same thing for um, hypophosphatemia, all of the manifestations are going to be the same as hypercalcemia. And then um, when it comes to magnesium, though, calcium and magnesium have a synergistic relationship. So that's a little bit easier to remember because basically all of the manifestations for the magnesium ones, like hypermagnesemia, are going to be the same like as hypercalcemia, and then all of the hypomagnesemia manifestations are going to be the same as the hypocalcemia ones. So I think that's really important to remember too. I think the hardest thing though is just going to be trying to remember like all of these like different manifestations for every single one. I'm gonna try my best to remember all of them, but it's just like a lot and I still need to do all of these ones and all of these ones, so. It's currently 6.54 and I started studying my Quizlets around like, I would say like noonish. So I've been studying for like seven hours. I mean, I have been taking like breaks here and there, but it's been a while, um, so I think that I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna start making my Venn diagrams for the endocrine disorders. Um, so like hyperpituitarism versus hypopituitarism, hyperthyroidism versus hypothyroidism, hyperparathyroidism versus, you know, like all of those. And then um, also Addison's versus Cushing's and like all the different diabetes types. Um, and then I think when I finish those, I'll go and eat some dinner because I think I should take a break. And then the last thing I'll do is going to be the respiratory disorders. So then I'll do all the respiratory disorder Venn diagrams and then I'll go through the Quizlet and really like memorize that. So I don't know how much I'm going to finish today. I don't know how far I'll get, but I will update you guys in a little bit and we'll see. Hey guys, sorry I look rough right now, but it's the next day. So today is the day before the exam. So I literally just have like the rest of the day to study today. Okay, I'm taking you guys upstairs with me, but I'm almost all done with my endocrine quizlet, so I'm almost all done going through all of those flashcards. And then I haven't made any more Venn diagrams since last night. I know I said I was gonna make some on the endocrine disorders, but honestly, I learned so much better through like active recall than I do through doing the Venn diagrams because I just, I can't learn from just like writing and reading off of like pieces of paper. Like I have to do the active recall. However, the Venn diagrams are really useful when you need to compare what manifestations both conditions share. So I do still think that I wanna do the Venn diagrams just for that, for the endocrine disorders and the respiratory disorders, because I think my teacher is gonna ask questions on the exam about that. Like which manifestations do both of them share? Like for example, um, for hypercalcemia and hypocalcemia, like, they both share like EKG changes, tachycardia, um, dysrhythmias. Um, so I feel like those are going to be questions my teacher asks me. Like they're going to be like, which of these manifestations do both hypo and hyper so and so share? You know what I mean? So, but yeah, so I'm really going to try to finish all of my Quizlet flashcards, really memorize all of those. Um, because I think then I'll be pretty solid for the exam. And then I think when I finally finish that, because it's going to be a while, then I'll make more Venn diagrams. And I don't know when I'm going to see you guys again, but I will try to give you an update in a little bit, or I will see you guys after the exam. 
Hey guys, so it's a few days later. So I took the exam on Monday um, and I did not think it went bad. I thought that it went okay. Like I really wasn't sure. Like there were definitely a couple questions where I was really iffy on them. There was one that I knew that I missed. Um, so I wasn't really sure like how I felt about it when I left. There were 50 questions on the exam and I got a 49.5 out of 50. So that's a 99 and I'm extremely happy and grateful for that score. I was not expecting that like at all. And I was just so stressed for this exam too. Like so, so stressed um, because patho is like, I feel like it's the scariest class in like out of all the classes I'm taking right now, like cause I'm taking health assessment, PCC, which is patient-centered care and patho this semester. And I feel like out of all those classes, like patho is like the scariest one. I'm just so grateful that like all of that studying paid off. Um, I would definitely say to anyone watching this, Quizlet is your best friend or like active recall for patho is your best friend. So active recall is just like flashcards. Like you don't have to use Quizlet, but just like any sort of like flashcards or like anything where you use like anything where you like make questions for yourself and you like use your memory like to answer definitions and questions like i feel like that is your best friend in patho like that's what worked for me for this exam and i will definitely be using my quizlets for the rest of the semester because it definitely paid off. I have my first patient-centered care exam this Monday um, that I need to start studying for. And then a couple days after that, I have my second health assessment exam. So next week is going to be really crazy because we have two exams in one week. Um, and then I also wanted to update you guys. I just had my vital signs check off a couple weeks ago and that went really well. So I had to perform in front of my lab instructor um, taking a pulse, uh, counting respiratory rate, taking a temperature, taking blood pressure, and using a pulse oximeter. And it went well, I passed. And then this past week, I had my Foley catheter validation. So I passed that as well. I was really nervous for that one. I don't know why, just because there's like so many steps and you cannot break sterile field. So yeah, I've passed two lab validations so far and I've gotten through two nursing school exams so far. Um, and we're almost halfway through semester one. So we're hanging in there. Um, it is very stressful. It is a lot, um, but so far it's been going well and I'm still so thankful to be in this program and to be in nursing school. And I'm so excited to see how far I've come um, by the end of the semester because I start clinicals next week um, So I'll tell you guys about that too and I might vlog it like my first one So yeah, stick around for more nursing school videos because there will be a lot more But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more from me in the future um, and I also really hope that some of you guys found this helpful and maybe some of my studying tips and methods will help you guys study for your first patho exams. And if you guys do try out my studying methods um, and they do help you guys, please make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.